So you're not sure what game engine you should pick? Then this video is for you. Today we're going to compare the most popular game engines Unity, Unreal, Godot and Game Maker. We'll be looking if the game engine supports 2D, 3D, which platforms you can export your game to, what language you use to code your games, the amount of tutorials and the price of the game engine. So you can find out which one fits your needs. So Unity supports both 2D and 3D and it also supports a lot of platforms such as Android, iOS, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, a lot of console targets. So you can export your game if you make a game in Unity. You can export your game to all of these platforms and you can also export it to WebGL or VR if you want to make a VR game, have a VR headset. The coding language you use with Unity is C Sharp, but the newest version, 2020.1, also supports visual scripting. Unity has a really good and large community, and almost 80% of all game engine tutorials out there are Unity tutorials, and Almost like 47% of game devs use the Unity game engine for making their games. So let's get to the price of the Unity game engine. So there is Unity Personal, Unity Pro and Unity Plus. And Unity Personal is completely free if you don't make more than $100,000 in 12 months with your game which is really unlikely to happen if you're making your first or second indie game with Unity. Unity Plus and Unity Pro is really expensive and is only meant to be for business game devs, so game dev companies. It also receives updates quite regularly and has a beginner friendly user interface, but it's not really that suitable for game companies that make AAA games. So that was it for the Unity game engine, let's jump right into Godot. So Godot or Godot supports both 2D and 3D. So you can make 2D or 3D games with Godot such as in Unity. Next let's get to the platforms. It supports a lot of platforms but there is no console target. But Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android and iOS which are like the standards platforms people make games for are supported by Godot. Next let's get to the language. Godot has GDScript which is its own language that only the engines uses but GDScript is really similar to Python and Godot also supports visual scripting and C Sharp but it mainly focuses on GDScript. Next let's get to the community and tutorials. So Godot's community is constantly growing. It's a new game engine on the market, it hasn't existed for such a long time as for example Unity, but it is constantly grown and the amount of tutorials is also growing. So you will find tutorials on whatever you need for Godot. Next let's get to the price. Luckily for you as a game dev, Godot is 100% free, you don't need to pay anything. It's also quite beginner friendly and it doesn't take that long to install and open up projects but it's quite buggy sometimes. So now let's get into Game Maker. Game Maker supports 2D, it also supports 3D but the 3D version of Game Maker Studio is very limited so it's only meant to be for 2D but of course then if it only supports 2D, 2D is way better. So let's get to the target platforms. It supports Windows, Linux, Ubuntu and Mac OS as well as Android and iOS and it also supports TVs such as Amazon Fire or Android TVs. Yeah and then there's also PlayStation 4 and Xbox One and you can also export to Nintendo Switch and HTML5 so people can play your games in a browser. Now let's get to the language that Game Maker Studio 2 uses. So if you want to make games with Game Maker Studio 2, you are using a language called Game Maker Language or short GML. 
So GameMaker language is really similar to JavaScript and also C languages. Now let's get to community and tutorials. Unfortunately, GameMaker Studio 2 has really a huge lack of tutorials even on YouTube. So that's not that good if you're just starting out. So if you use Unity for example, there are a lot of tutorials. So that helps you learning for example C Sharp and the engine. Now let's get to GameMaker Studios price which is such as Godot also 100% free. It also has a beginner friendly user interface but since it's run by a small development team it also contains some bugs. Now let's head right on to Unreal Engine. So Unreal Engine which is run by Epic Games who also developed Fortnite and other games does support 2D but the 2D version is really limited, it heavily focuses on 3D and with Unreal Engine you can achieve super realistic 3D graphics. You can export your game to Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, iOS, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and HTML5 so again people can play your game in a browser. So that's useful if you're for example joining a game jam. Next let's get on to the language that Unreal Engine uses. So Unreal Engine uses blueprints which is visual scripting but Unreal Engine heavily focuses on blueprints so you'll be doing a lot with blueprints but blueprints also can come to its limits so at some point you're going to use C++ which is really similar to C Sharp. A lot of tutorials for Unreal Engine are blueprint tutorials. So there are not really many C++ Unreal Engine tutorials. So and most of the tutorials are with blueprints. Just wanted to say that here. And Unreal Engine is 100% free if you make less than 1 million dollars with a game that you made with Unreal Engine. So that's really unlikely to happen. Like, I mean, Unity, $100,000 in 12 months is also really unlikely to happen, but 1 million, so it's like almost 100% free. Unreal Engine's user interface is not that beginner friendly and it can seem quite confusing sometimes, but the game engine is totally suitable for AAA games. Like if you liked, dislike if you didn't, consider subscribing and ring that bell that you don't miss future game dev advice videos and share me your thoughts in the comments below on what game engine you picked and then I hope I see you soon. Bye!